Hi everyone, thanks for watching. I'm Lauren from Guthrie and Ganny and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you a roundup of all of the beautiful new fabrics that have arrived into my shop during the month of February. So you can find all of these fabrics listed on my website. The details to that are in the description to the video. And if you're looking for a specific fabric that I mentioned, the best way to find that is probably by browsing through the corresponding blog post. Again, the link is in the description to the video as well. We get new fabrics added to the online shop all the time. So, so yeah, looking at the blog post for this video is probably the easiest way to find something specific if you're looking for it. But if you just generally want to browse all of our just arrived fabrics, then of course you can do that as well. So I do one of these roundups every month and last month in January, it was definitely very summer themed. We had lots of woven cotton, really lightweight fabrics, lots of embroidery, that kind of thing. I would say generally the theme for this month is vibrancy and colour and print. I've got so many amazing, beautiful, really, really colourful fabrics for you in this video. And there is quite a lot of jersey, so stretchy fabric, and then I do have some wovens behind me as well, which you can see in the row. So, First of all, I want to just cover what I'm wearing and the shirt that I've got because I often get quite a lot of questions for that. But again, I'll put links in the description to the video of what it is. This is the new Closet Core Jenna shirt, which I absolutely love. I, I'm generally a fan of Closet Core patterns anyway, and this pattern is no exception. It's really nice, got so many beautiful details. And I've made it in our new cheesecloth cotton embroidered fabric, which is a lovely lightweight fabric and um, really nice for some and I'm just enjoying layering it up with various different things. You can wear it sort of tied up like this, like what I've got, or you can wear it kind of loose and open as well. So it's a really versatile pattern. So what I'm going to start off with, first of all, is a selection of woven fabrics that are all cottons. Um, the first one is really fun. It's a little bit more of a sort of medium weight cotton. I would say it's more like a poplin, to be honest, um, or, or like a shirting. So it'd be really good for a nice crisp structured shirt I guess a bit like the one that I'm wearing just now and it's got a pinstripe in the background but when you look really closely it's so much fun you can see that it's got these animals on it but each animal is actually made up of quite a few different animals so it's sort of like a novelty kind of conversational print but it's not kind of like really in your face novelty. It's really, really lovely. It's been super popular so far. And then I've got a selection of lovely cotton lawns. So these are Pima cotton lawns, which just means they're like really nice quality, lightweight, nice crisp cotton lawns. They're really nice for this time of year. They're also really easy to work with as well. So if you're still quite um, new in your dressmaking journey, then they're a nice fabric to work with because they're lightweight, but they do, you know, they press really well. They're nice and crisp and they don't slip around too much so this one here has got really really beautiful um color palette in it this one is the confetti floral one and and yeah it's just a nice light bright spring color weight you can see how how sort of lightweight and kind of floaty it is when i'm sort of holding a section of it up um, and all of these cotton lawns would be really good for nice little tops and blouses you could make dresses in them as well i think depending on the style of dress you might want to line it either with just a cotton lawn or a cotton voil um, but if it was just for a top or a blouse or a little shirt or something, then I don't think you would need to line it. Um, this one is a little bit more of a larger scale than the last one. It's got beautiful colours in it as well um, and some really nice details. Um, this one is called Painted Garden. Um, they just feel so lovely and soft. They're really, really nice. Again, there's definitely a sort of kind of pinky ready theme. <laughs> this one here um, is, is a really nice colour as well. And this is the Pansy Bloom one so it's got those little injections of the blue and purple leaves there but some really lovely nice ready pinky blooms as well and then this one if you're not like quite into sort of multicolored florals and um, this one's a little bit more subtle and it comes in a navy color way as well and um, again it's it's a it's a really nice lightweight cotton and this is the flower fans on white um, and then it's almost like the reverse you've got it on like a blue color way as well so that's something that's maybe like a little bit more subtle. Um, and then this one is lovely as well with the red and it's got the little leaves on it too. And um, it's more like a sort of nice uniform pattern. This one is the leaf imprint Pima Cotton. 
so so yeah a really lovely nice little new selection of woven cottons there and then i'm going to move on to the jerseys so first of all i'll cover the cotton jerseys that we've got um and they are more like t-shirt weight like your classic kind of t-shirt weight jersey so they're you know perfect for t-shirts tops you can make dresses with them as well and cotton jersey does just tend to hold its structure a little bit more so i've got quite a few viscose jerseys to show you too and you're really going to see the difference between how they kind of drape and how they hang and move so this one here comes in two colorways again it's just the colors are just so vibrant and colorful they're lovely and um, this is the cream watercolor rosebud cotton jersey fabric um, and and yeah it's nice and stretchy it's quite structured so in terms of working with a jersey for the first time you're still building your confidence up with jersey cotton jersey is an easier one to kind of handle compared to the viscose so so yeah some really nice options if you're looking for an easier make with jersey and then that's the that's the lovely pink color way there i'll show you the close-up clip of that too and then the next one's a bit more of a larger scale got quite kind of painterly vibes in this one and um, it's it's a bit more abstract and this is the peach artist floral cotton and um, so again just a really lovely selection of colors and you can sort of see the brush strokes in it as well it's really 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 nice and um, and then a beautiful kind of pinky colorway of that one as well hold that up so that you can see it it's, it's good to get an idea of the scale like next to a person and um, because sometimes when you're just sort of seeing a photo or a close-up you can think how you know what does that what would that actually look like and you can see that that the the sort of motifs on it are quite large so so yeah they are all the cotton jersey ones and um, they're really bright and floral i do have some more kind of like novelty cotton jerseys as well so these are maybe crossing a little bit more into possibly kids wear but not necessarily of course and um, this one here has got these lovely sunset sunset boats on it it's a little boat floating in the water this is like a it's like a french terry loop back but the reverse of the fabric is brushed so it makes it really really soft and cozy so it's it's effectively like a kind of really lightweight sweat shirting um or or a much Kind of thicker heavier weight cotton typical cotton jersey fabric so i think it would actually cross really nicely up, up, up between both types of garments like i think you could make jumpers and t-shirts and tops and cardigans with it as well it's really lovely nice and nice and bright again and then this one here is really fun this one comes in two colorways as well this is just a regular T sort of like t-shirt weight cotton jersey fabric and um, with these sort of um animal kind of graphic animal prints on it this is the pink collage zoo um and and yeah this would look really cute as a little little baby clothes um and then this one is so vibrant and colorful too this comes in a navy colorway as well i love this one it's so fun so it's got like an ice cream and a tiger and a cloud with lots of happy faces and sunshine and um, again classic jersey t-shirt weights fabric and the cotton as well and um, so nice and versatile good for it would make cute little leggings or um, like a nice t-shirt nice cute little t-shirt or something like that and um, then this next one here we're back to the sort of nautical theme again and um, and this one again is that sort of brushed loop back so it's kind of that in between sweat shirting and t-shirt weight it's a bit heavier but it's not quite as thick as your classic sweat shirting but that brushed surface in the back just makes it feel so lovely and soft so again a really versatile one that would cross over really nicely between tops and more like sort of jumper styles as well and um, and then this one here which is a really pretty little cloud design hold it up that way it's upside down the other way um, and this comes in two colorways as well so we've got a navy version of this too this is back to the classic t-shirt weight jersey so it's much lighter weight um, and and yeah just a nice more sort of like neutral cloud design so it's not not quite as novelty as some of the others um, and then the next jerseys that I've got to show you are the viscose jerseys and the difference between these ones and the cotton ones are is that the viscose jerseys just drape so much they've got 
real fluidity. They kind of move around a lot more. They can be a bit slippery, more slippery to work with, but you just need to take your time. I would say for the very first time you're working with jersey, it's probably better to go with something more stable like a cotton jersey or a loop back or a sweatshirting. But you know, if you've made some jersey garments before, then these, these are really lovely to wear. They're nice and comfy, they're very, very stretchy. So I've got lots of different really lovely bright colors and designs to share with you here. So this one here, which is the Berry Dotty Viscose Fabric, um, it's like a really dark sort of navy background and then just got these lovely little red spots on it. Um, so these, these jerseys are better for dresses um, and garments where they maybe, there's maybe not too much negative ease. Like if it was a really fitted t-shirt, you might feel like it's just kind of clinging too much. Whereas you want something that's maybe got a little bit more looseness in it, a little bit more flow, so you can see that really nice drape. Um, a nice wrap dress would be good. Um, I've recently made the, the named patterns Kilo Wrap Dress, which is really nice, or the, the Cashmere Appleton, or some like classic ones that I've made. But there are, you know, there's lo lots of various different jersey dresses out there. The Sovereign Georgie dress that we recently did in the Sewing Society kit as well. They would all be really good for this type of fabric. This one is so, so bright and lovely. It's got the gorgeous orange and magenta and a kind of abstract palm print. You definitely wouldn't need to pattern match that or anything. It's all very sort of abstract. Um, so nice and bright and summery if you've got a, a summer holiday planned coming up. This one feels like a little bit more subtle compared to that last bright one that I showed you. And this one comes in three different colorways. It's almost like sort of brush strokes different thicknesses, different different tones. So obviously this is a blue one here. And then we've got a sort of greeny one and a purpley one as well. You can just see the kind of floppiness of it. When I kind of shake it around, you can see it kind of moving around. So you know that it would just, it would just drape and swish really lovely. Then this next one, again, this comes in three colorways. I've brought the green one over here to show you, um, but we do have it in a navy and, Another colorway, I'll show you the close-up clip. I think it may be a red, uh, but don't quote me on that. I'll show you the close-up clip. Um, and the scale's just a bit bigger on this one. So you've got more of that sort of plain solid background and then these kind of larger sort of daisy, daisy motifs on it. Again, I don't think I would pattern match that. I feel like this sort of orientation of the flowers is kind of random enough that it would be fine. Um, and then this, lovely one here again it's a bit quite an abstract print but it is kind of based on florals it comes in two colorways as well this is a lovely sort of bluey greeny colorway it's up around this way and um yeah holding it next to me hopefully you can see the scale it is quite large again i personally wouldn't pass or match something like that because i think it's i think it's abstract and sort of random enough that you wouldn't need to um so so yes yeah, some really lovely nice bright vibrant jerseys there the final jersey that i've got to show you which would have probably fitted in better actually with the ones that i showed you at the start um is this cotton one here which has got a really lovely pinstripe in it it's quite subtle and maybe a bit more classic than some of the, the really bright vibrant floral ones i've been showing you it's a, it is a knitted fabric but it's a hundred percent cotton so because it doesn't have any elastine in it it doesn't really have as much stretch or recovery. So it's better for looser styles. You wouldn't really want to make something that's got negative ease out of this because it's just not going to have the giver stretch and the kind of bounce back to it. So something that's a bit more looser fitted, like a t-shirt a that's that's more looser fitted would be better. Closet Core have got one, True Bias have got one, for example. You know, there's there's lots of different ones out there. But yeah, it's just a really lovely, nice sort of textured stripe fabric. Um, uh, so this is the Pastel Dash stripe cotton fabric. So that is all the jersey ones that I wanted to show you. And then now I will move on to the woven viscoses that are behind me. And again, we've got lots of beautiful color and lovely print here with this selection. So the first one that I'm gonna show you, this is quite a small scale sort of ditzy print. This one is called the Scatter Petal Viscose and it's a plain weave viscose. So it's got a really lovely, soft sort of flat finish to it. 
and I would say it's black in the background and then just got these really kind of small scale little flowers on it so a really lovely nice versatile one I don't think you can see through it you wouldn't need to line it and that would be really pretty for nice little dresses and blouses and tops so so yeah that is a, a nice a nice little one there and then the next one that I've got to show you is this navy polka dot one. It's very classic. And this is actually a viscose linen mix one. So it's 70% viscose and it's 30% linen. So it's got these really lovely, nice polka dots printed onto it. Um, they, they look more sort of scattered around, I'd say, rather than being in specific rows and columns. So again, a nice one to work with where you just wouldn't need to worry about the pattern matching or where the spots were or anything. Um, and, and yeah, a really lovely, nice sort of textured one. Be really nice for a skirt or you can make quite a summery jumpsuit with it as well, I think. Um, or maybe some lightweight sort of summery trousers would be nice as well. Um, so that one is, yeah, that's the, the viscose linen. So it's got that mixture of fibres in it. And then the next one that I've got is a really lovely daisy one. We see lots of daisy ones coming through, but this one's a little bit more sort of um, ditzy and kind of abstract. It's the monochrome daisy field. Again, it's a plain weave viscose, so it's got a really lovely smooth finish to it. And it's small scale enough that you wouldn't be pattern matching it. So just another really lovely one to work with. Again, I wouldn't be lining that at all. Um, and you can see it just drapes and swishes really, really beautifully. This next one here has come, finally come back into stock and it's come back into stock in this new beautiful colorway as well as the original classic navy as well. It was so popular. It's kind of like a William Morris sort of design. It's called the Sky Arts and Crafts Floral Viscose Fabric. It's, it's a plain weave as well, but it feels so smooth. It's a really, really beautiful viscose fabric. Such lovely, drape and swish to it and and yeah would make really lovely nice dresses and blouses and skirts that the, the uh, yeah originally it was the navy colorway we had and we almost just couldn't keep it in stock and finally they've brought it back and brought it back in a nice lighter uh, sort of more more of like a kind of duck egg kind of sort of color like a powder blue um nice and soft and subtle for spring and then we have got this one here i love the scale of this one it comes in three different colorways this one is obviously the navy um, and this is the graphic zigzag viscose fabric so again it's a plain weave viscose so nice and smooth finish to it and the scale of it is is quite large i personally probably wouldn't pattern match it i feel like the scale is large enough that you wouldn't need to um, and this is really nice for a little blouse maybe like a little wrap brow blouse or again a skirt or a nice swishy dress would be lovely as well um, and yeah how to choose between the three colors they're all really lovely and um, the blue is always kind of classic but I do actually really like the olive colorway as well it's lovely um, and then we have got this one again this is coming in three colors so we've got a monochrome one, a green one, and then this really lovely sort of vibrant bright blue one as well. So this is the Palace Blue Abstract Animal Viscose Fabric. And I'll roll a bit out just so that you can see the kind of scale of it as well. Again, plain weave viscose, so it's lovely, soft, smooth finish, nice and swishy and drapey. You wouldn't need to pattern match it, you wouldn't need to line it. Um, and really nice and vibrant um, for the spring summer season and again how to choose between three really lovely colors i think probably the blue is my favorite in this one they're definitely more sort of saturated colors very very vibrant and bright um, and you know you really see that contrast with the with the white background against it as well and um, this one is doesn't have other colorways unlike the others um, but it's really really beautiful very delicate um, and kind of reminds me of almost like a sort of block print type fabric. Um, this one is very, very soft. It's actually tensile. Um, it's a plain weave, so it feels really smooth. Behaves very, very similarly to viscose, but I would say it's probably slightly lighter weight and it definitely feels much, much softer. It's, it's gorgeous. It's like very therapeutic to sort of touch and stroke it. Um, I love the colours in it as well. And, and yeah, I think... I think this would be great for tops and blouses. I think probably if you're making a dress in this, you would feel like you might want to line it. I would probably just line it with one of our plain viscose fabrics that we've got. 
um, which are basically like the other plain weave viscoses that I've shown you, but they're just totally plain. Um, so it means that when you line something with that and you're using a viscose or a tensile, you're, it's not going to affect the drape or anything. It'll still make whatever you make really nice and swishy and lightweight. Um, so, so yeah something slightly different there with the tensile fibre um, and if you're interested in sort of hearing more about the differences between the types of fibres like tensile and medal and viscose and bamboo and all of those things I do have a blog post that sort of goes into a lot more depth about them all and explains them so again I'll link to that in the description to this video and um, the next one comes in a couple of colorways a really bright magenta and then this lovely green colorway that I've bought, brought over here climbing leaves on emerald a bamboo poplin fabric so it's made out of bamboo as opposed to the viscose i would say it feels a little bit thicker and kind of heavier so th so the density of the fabric is just a bit more than the other than the other viscoses hence it's got the word poplin in there poplin usually indicates that something is just a little bit heavier weight but bamboo itself as a fiber is still quite drapey and floaty so you can see that it's still it still kind of flops around a lot it doesn't hold its structure maintain its structure like cotton does i think it would be nice and easy to work with very versatile as well because it is a little bit thicker so definitely like jumpsuits summery lightweight trousers dresses tops blouses everything would be really nice in that and again as I said, it comes in those two colourways as well. And then we've got the same type of base fabric, but just in a different print. Um, it's more of like a large scale sort of floral one. So, so for this one, I've brought over the magenta, but then we do have it in a green version as well. So this one is the magenta shadow floral bamboo cotton poplin fabric. So it's like a, like a dark navy sort of midnight in the background, then contrasting against those really lovely magenta design um, and yeah as you can see pretty large scale here again plain weave so it's nice and soft nice and floaty and drapey and yeah i think that i think that would look stunning as a dress i personally wouldn't be pattern matching that i feel like it's abstract enough that you wouldn't need to pattern match it um so so yeah another really lovely sort of nice bold striking one there and then the last one that i've got to show you is actually a cotton fabric so we've moved off of the viscose now um, and this is the cornflower eye cat stretch cotton twill fabric so it's it's going to be good for trousers a nice lightweight blazer would be nice as well so it's got some stretch in it um, it's a twill weave so you can sort of see the diagonal texture on it when you look at it closely um, and and yeah it's just a really nice fun one you wouldn't be pattern matching anything like that either and um, it's got you know it's got because it's got the elastine it's got that given stretch in it and um, nice little skirt would be good as well and um, so yeah just another nice light bright summery one so i hope you've enjoyed having a little look at all of those different fabrics and if you can only shop with us online that it just gives you a bit of an idea of the texture and drape of the fabrics too and um, of course if you are able to come and visit us here in our shop in Mosley and Birmingham then we'd love to see you um, and you can have a good feel of all the fabrics in person but otherwise if you're shopping online I would say this is probably like the closest thing you're going to get to actually seeing and being able to touch them and um, we do sell fabric by the 10 centimeters so you can just buy like a little 10 centimeter section if you want to feel it or you know sort of just get more of an idea of the texture of the fabric before you're buying your full meterage um, and we do have a swatch service as well so you can get like a little swatch um, for, and that's just a postage charge for that but yeah if you wanted a bigger section to sort of feel it then you can literally just buy 10 centimeters of fabric too and um, so remember I do have that blog post that will round up all of these fabrics together and that's the easiest way to find something specific that I've been talking about. If you've got any questions or comments at all, please feel free to leave them below. If you need any help or advice, the G&G team and I are always more than happy to help. You can call the shop, you can email us as well. So I'll put the contact details in the description to the video as well. But thanks so much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, then don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on my next video. And I will see you next time. <laughs> Bye.